Hi, my name is Lynette Johanna Francisco. I am Navajo and part Comanche. Today I'm working on the quills, the quill work and the quill earrings. Um, that is my, my passion. And I do all sorts of stuff, bead work, um, image work, whatever you can think of. I design images in Photoshop and then I create little tiny things like these. And people order these and they bleed around them. So these images I create and then I put them on the mat there and I add liquid resin. And people buy them and bead around them. Well, um, I have lupus and it's really limited my mobility and I used to be a uh, lab tech. I worked in uh, Quest Diagnostics for about 13 years and it just got so hard. I could not function right and you know I couldn't keep my focus. So my doctor suggested I take some time off, get myself back to you know work in order and then I just thought you know that the work is just so stressful. This is what I want to do, and this is what was starting to heal me. So I, I met a man, and he taught me that quill work is healing. You know, talk to the quill, touch the quill, and it'll it'll heal you. So I started doing this, and it it's just done. Yeah, it's cleared my mind, and it's just awesome. Everything is handmade, including I mean, I make everything. I don't. Everything comes from the wire, and that's where I start, is every little detail, every little findings, and everything is all handmade. I make it all myself. When I touch the quill and when I start to work with it, I just go with whatever comes, you know, go with whatever comes. Like now I have these here, I really don't know where I'm going with it, but then I, I started this, and it's kind of... You know, I'm kind of getting some ideas, so it just goes where it wants to go. Where I don't really have a set design and then go with that design. I just go with whatever comes when I'm working. My mom used to be a silversmith. Uh, she made beautiful jewelry, earrings, squash blossoms, uh, necklaces, rings, anything. And she's so, you know, she's everything so I've always been around it and then just recently about a year maybe two years ago I took up you know to keep myself occupied because I couldn't work anymore and then it just grew from there grew from there grew from there and, and people wanted to buy them but I had like earrings everywhere and I didn't know what to do with them so I started posting them on you know Facebook and asking people and it just went crazy. People just bought and bought and bought. And, and then it led to beadwork. And my aunt actually taught me how to bead because, you know, she said it calms you down, it keeps you clear. So I started that, and then that just went crazy again. And it led to the images, and now that's where I am. I just do just a little bit of everything, and it, it helps. And now I don't work. My work is doing this, and it's actually brought me um, paper my car. <laughs> and it was surprising, you know. It surprises me every day that people want it so much, and I don't have maybe about two or three hours to myself a day because I'm constantly working all the time. And I tell myself, you need to take some time off. You need the weekend. No. I'm always on the phone, <laughs> but it's amazing. I love it.